So what we're gonna do here is actually in our all locations table view controller at the top uh, where my variables are, I'm going to create another variable and call this again should refresh. And here by default, it's gonna be false. Okay, and in our uh, table view function, uh, did select row at index path, we can, ch we can choose from here, and table view, did select row at index path. Instead of passing should refresh as false, I'm going to pass my global variable, should refresh. And then in this case, it's gonna work because by default is false. But uh, what I want to do here is whenever I am uh, changing something, so whenever we are deleting something, we are calling our save new location to user defaults. And in this function, I want to set my should refresh equals true. So if we have ever called save location to user defaults function, our should refresh will be set to true. And whenever after that we select our table view, uh, where is it? Uh, did select did select road index path, then we will have this global variable should refresh as a yes. And then we are gonna refresh our table view. Uh, sorry, our uh, our data in our uh, weather information. Um, also, we want to refresh every time we add new uh, location, which happens in our uh, in our delegate function here. Did uh, add new location. So here I will say should refresh is equals to true because whenever we add a new location, we want to refresh this so we will get the new locations weather as well. And apart from that, whenever we add a new location, I want to re get rid of my print statement and I want to add this new location which we choose from our city, uh, from our view here. So we pass it back to our previous view, which will add it to our uh, table view here. So in order to do that, I'm gonna say uh, weather data dot append, and we're going to add one more object to our array. And we are going to create a city temp data. And the initialization will not work, uh, will not autocomplete by default, but since it's uh, only two parameters, I will type it. So we say city is new location dot city. And the temperature, I'm going to set just zero here because uh, at this stage, we don't know what the temperature is. That's why we will put just zero. And then we want to refresh our table view. So we say uh, table view dot reload data. So it will uh, refresh our table view and it will represent the new city as well. So let's uh, run our application. And I'm going to check if I delete something, my application will work as it should expect it or not. So um, I'm going to delete the London here. And if I click on, let's say Dublin, I can see it refreshed and we have Cupertino, we have Toronto and we have Dublin. So we don't have our London city anymore. Let's try also adding a new location. I want to add back Nicosia. Now my Nicosia appears here because we added it to our array. The temperature is zero, but when I click on any of them, I should go back to my weather view and it should refresh because about Nicosia, we don't have any weather information. That's why it's zero here. So let's click it and it's refreshing. Again, we're on Cupertino, Toronto, Dublin, and Nicosia. So we have all the information. And if I go back here, now my Nicosia temperature shows as it should be. So everything is correctly set here. So let's go back to Nicosia, 
and uh, the next thing actually in our application we are going to do is to have this uh, instead of this add we are going to put a nice button here and also we want to have the temperature format dynamically so it's Fahrenheit or Celsius 